tune in and get tuned up. You got your boy Coach. All right, man. You got your boy Nelly. He sold his catalog and he uh did an article with People Magazine. I'm gonna go through the article real quick. The rapper and singer recently struck a deal to sell a 50% stake in his catalog for 50 million. People confirms. Nelly 48 has partnered with the Harborview Equity Partners, which has agreed to the purchase of select record sets. A source close to the artist tells people the deal includes some of his best known tracks, including Grabbing Me, Dilemma, and Hiding Her. Following the sale, Nelly, who is also promoting his brand of liquor, Moshine, is heading back to the studio to work on his next record, a sequel to his 2021 country inspired album, Heartland, called Heartland 2. The source tells people that unlike Heartland, which included chart topping hit Little Bit with Florida Georgia Line, the follow up will be featured only female collaborators. A few years back, Nelly appeared on People Now where he went through his old discography. The show featured the artist looking back finally on his old songs and sharing his recollections. At the time, Nelly told people that his hit rivalry Me was surprising because it's one of those songs he just wrote so fast. About hiding her, Nelly offered a simple word, spectacle concerning the dilemma he referred to tell himself in third person. All three songs are included in agreement with Harborview Equity Partners. Music is my legacy, which I want to last beyond me, continuing to make my existing fans happy while reaching new generations and new audiences. Nelly said in his statement, obtained by Variety, I am excited to partner with Harborview to create opportunities for discovery of my music decades from now. He joins a growing list of stars, including Justin Timberlake, Sting, Bruce Springsteen, Justin Bieber, and Bob Dylan to part ways with at least portion of their music catalog. Shit, man. I don't know. Oh, um, I mean, Nelly been around for a long time. He made a lot of mu- money in music. Uh, he made a lot of money with business deals, you know, such as clothes, branding himself. I mean, he been around a long time. He's still making country music. He switched to a different genre, so, you know, the man, he highly intelligent, but I just don't understand why these artists are selling their catalogs, you know. Um, I heard Manny Fresh even sold his catalog, you know. It's just, it's, it's just getting crazy right now, you know. Um, we need more black owners, you know. It's like the African-Americans are afraid to be owners. It's like they got to partner with somebody. Like, nobody ain't got to hold your hand, man, you know. So you can stand on your own. I mean... I don't know this man business or how deep and debt he is with companies and whatever, but I feel like ownership is more important right now. I feel Slim Thug when he said that, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like these artists live these lifestyles and they got all this money and all this stuff, they, stuff that they buying and they got to keep up with their lifestyle. I understand that and money do run out. Um, but, I mean, I, I just don't understand. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this, man, because uh, it's a lot of artists doing this, you know? Like like I said, Manny Fresh, you know? Like, I'm going to get to his story later. But um, it's, just, it's just crazy to me, man. Like, Nelly been around for a long time, and we've been seeing his face and seeing his marketing for a long time. For him to sell 50% of his catalog is crazy, and those three songs right there, Dilemma, Ride With Me, and Hiding Her, they're like some of his biggest songs, you know what I'm saying? So, that really don't make any sense to me, you know what I'm saying? So, y'all uh, write in the comments, um, like, subscribe to the channel, T- tell me what y'all think, man, about this, because, like, I'm over here just lost the words for real. I'm out. Tune in to get tuned out. I dog a bitch out and go to the dog. I pull on my gun, it's nothing to talk about.